Okay, well, here is the trench system. It's uh, just about done. I sort of wanted to walk you through how I am building it a little bit. You see I did a funny thing with the corners. I have one block in the very corner which is dead, essentially. Uh, there's It's a stationary source block, so if a mob is somehow getting in the corner, they're going to stay there. But uh, for the most part, every other block is a movement block. Um, the intersections are kind of tricky. I found if you just plan out, though, your moves, it will be okay. Again, this looks like it's wrong. See, it looks like it's not... It's going uh, downhill or uphill there, but I'm actually not pushing any buttons. And uh, here I am flowing the proper way. I'm actually not pushing any buttons. The only reason I'm not going to... I'm going to stop here, but, you know. So you get the idea. All right, so let me... I have a... Uh, is it just one more corner or two of them? Um, I think... Okay, I do have two... M no, one more corner to do. So let me just go ahead and do the corner. Um, so how I've been doing the corners, first of all, I've been making things easier for myself. And in each of these corners, I am putting a infinite spring. I will remove all these later, but this just helps with uh, gathering water. So the corners, I essentially am placing a raised pattern here. I'm going to place water here and here. The thing to note in the corners, if you look, and I actually have to go back to my other corner to see how I did this. Um, yeah, we can just build a bridge. Uh, da -da -da -da. You need to clear, you know, a block here and there to get up. Make sure you you cover those afterwards because then the mobs can also get up those blocks, and you don't want them once they're falling in the trenches. You don't want them getting back up. So if I look here, I think I made it such that. Let's see. Uh, well, you know, let me just let me just add some water, and uh, we'll see where it goes. I believe it does not go all the way. The water does not travel all the way to the intersection. So what I do is I put one in the very corner, and one right here. And so the water flows right here, and then water flows right to here. And I use these flows to flood the intersections. If you do it smart, though, what you can do is, uh, well, and then I have to note that this is one of the main intersections that goes directly to the Maba trap. So I want to continue this this way. I want to continue this this way and this way. You gotta make make sure that you're not flowing that way and having everything flow this way. Uh, y you wanna make sure your flows are going in the correct direction. So I don't yet give this water a chance to flow. I've calculated that I need to place the stairs right here on these because that makes this the source block and then I have a flowing block so I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven that puts these other blocks right to the edge. And this one uh, is also placed right to the edge. And then as you see, it might be hard to see, but I dug down one and then dug this whole thing down and sort of started the pattern over there. And you'll sort of see what I do here. Uh, I pick one of the blocks. I um, need another pick. Yep, there we go. Again with this, stairs there. Uh, the source block is going to go right on top of the stairs, and then it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and right to the edge of the intersection. And it makes it a lot easier if you stop the water at the edge of these intersections before continuing with the intersection. It just makes it a lot easier to deal with the intersections then. Um, and then before I do anything, I just place the signs because I can do that now. So this is the first intersection, is always kind of like this. And then uh, release the dam, as you, as you could say. Okay. And it'll go either there, or more than likely, probably straight, and then over this way. Because once you fall into, once the mobs fall into here, they'll be going out there. So at this point, I can't actually fill this with water. So let me get back up. Guys, 
sell some more signs. And right here. Okay. Water there. Water there. And it fills right up to there. And so you see, if I'm a mob caught in this flow, I get caught in it. Uh, there's a little bit of a dead space here. I will say, there is a little bit of dead space here, but that's okay because I'll fall down and go that way. Um, yeah, I guess I haven't tried doing that. This might help. So, this might screw up with the currents, though. Uh, yeah, see? It's still a little bit of dead space. It's a little bit better, but if a mob moves at all, they'll fall into the current. So I don't think it's going to be a problem. Um, I don't anticipate that being a problem. I'm just going to leave it the way it is. Uh, it's the way I've been doing the intersections, and it seems to be at least easy to do. So we're going to stick with that first. If it doesn't work for whatever reason, I will get to that when the time comes. But for now, it seems to work just fine. And let's see, this one is also set to be in the correct manner. And then I'll show you how I do a normal uh, intersection, not one of these corner intersections. So, for example, that one's all set up to be done. So again, I look to see where the center point is, so it's here. I want to make sure that this area is clear. I don't want to get there just yet, so I'm going to have another flow from this intersection that's going to go into here. And then one of these, I'll pick probably this one, uh, because it's right along with the main chute. Dig out. Um, in this case, I actually want to dig a little closer. I just want these to be... E it's not going to matter too much how close they are, but I want them to be close enough where they can fall in. Um, this should be good. You know, and, and it doesn't have to be perfect. Uh, that should do. And then uh, I know it's going to be this flow that I want to continue, so there it is. And so this water comes right up against that intersection. The water flow from here will also come right up against the intersection. Um, I know it's going to be basically just like this. Because I've already calculated the distances, like I said before. And I most likely... Uh, oh, yeah. So, and then this one will also be... Uh, that was uh, uh, going there was again to check to make sure I'd want the flow to go this way. And not... I want this flow to travel in the direction I'm walking rather than this way. Um, in the end, it won't matter too much other than just wasting some time for the mobs to hang around. Um, and I could continue this flow right here. I may just do that. Um, first I'm going to see... Okay, we have two streams that are going to be coming together. And I've kind of liked to have these coming together at one of these intersections. Uh, so what, I'm, what I'll do here is this stream will connect this way. Um, <coughs> so, and I also want this stream to push this way. And I know again that this is where I want to place my stairs because I've counted already that this will get me the proper number of um, of water blocks. So there we go. I'm gonna need to make a little more signs. I should say, make sure you have plenty of wood uh, before you do this mob spawner. Wood is actually a very important resource uh, for this mob spawner design because the trenches use a ton of signs to control the flow of water. Um, I believe the only one I had to mess with was the one that was some larger than nine squares, but uh, if the stairs are here, that means the source block's there, and the flowing water goes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It comes right up against here and does not interfere, interfere with this flow at all. So this should be fine. And then all I need to do is release that, come over here, whoops, 
add the water here. Doesn't interfere with this. Um, get some more water. Come back over here and kind of do the same thing. Uh, wait, was it here? Um, no, it was right here. Yes, right here is good. <coughs> and here we go. So um, I'm getting there. It's uh, it's almost done. So that's actually four of the corners. I just have to make sure I have all these flows sort of traveling correctly. I actually I think I know there's one over there that's traveling in the wrong direction. I don't care um, at this point. I think it's traveling past this main line. I actually don't care. It's not going to matter too much because it's just going to travel back and sort of around in a more roundabout fashion. It shouldn't matter too much at all if one of the flows is going wrong. Um, I'm not looking for the maximum amount of mobs. I just want to have some. So that will work. Okay, and so if you look, this is the main chute where I want everybody to, the main elevator where I want everyone to come to, which means this flow needs to go that way, in which case I've pre-dug it out to do that. Um, let me release the flow. Uh, I decided that this is the main flow that I want to use for this, so uh, not close enough. So I'll do that. And let me get myself a way out. It's easy to set that up beforehand. Uh, da -da. If you build this, you'll see this, the currents are quite strong, so um, it's actually hard for you to get out of them. So, we, oh, hmm, looks like this was screwed up. I took uh, too many times from this. Yeah. Oh wait, no, I must have double clicked somewhere. Okay, there we go. That's better. Okay. So um, I will be back when I've completely finished this, which is just about almost now. Um, and then we'll probably start on the mob elevator itself. I am back, and my trench system is done. Uh, now it's time to work on the mob elevator. And you may notice at first, this looks now entirely different from what the video looked like before. That is because, of course, the uh, new beta 1.4 now just came out uh, right in the middle of when I was filming this, and I have not yet patched uh, on the no the, um, the modified Mesa texture pack. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna keep this probably for the remainder of the video. Um, maybe I might I might patch it back. We'll see. But for now, all that's left. Oh crap! All that's left is to oh crap again. Uh, hold on. All that's left is to now work on this uh, middle section here. And I'm going to have to check into how to do that because I honestly forget uh, what I should do. I never partic partook in that portion of it. So I'm not really sure how to do that. Um, there is a good method, I could probably guess, and we might be able to muddle our way through, but mm, let's not waste too much time here, and uh, this video is already getting going to get pretty long. I don't want you guys to be super bored, so I will look into sort of how to do that in a little bit, at least get an idea, and then uh, I'll just kind of run with it and see what happens. And I know I want to get rid of some of these, uh, the bridges and the infinite water pools, except I might just keep one. Um, to make the jump. Rah! No. Oh well. Um. Oh wait. Uh, there we go. At least I got that. And then we can climb back up. Yep. So I'm gonna do some housekeeping here, and then uh, I'll be back, and we'll start to work on this elevator portion. <laughs> 